I'm a bit sick, so sorry about the audio quality. I was just watching a, a seminar about the use of AI tools in teaching. And, and then I thought about a cool idea. So I quite often have these kind of little demonstrations that I program for my students. So this is for visualizing how gradient and Hessen affect the likelihood. So for students, it might be difficult to understand uh, how the uh, the likelihood is obtained in maximum likelihood estimation. So uh, I show them this kind of surface on my slides, and then I, I explain how the the surface. And you're going to you are looking for the top, so the maximum of the likelihood, and um, how how that uh, is determined by the the gradient vector. We have zeros here and Hessen matrix. So when the model is converged, then uh, you should have the Hessens, uh, the diagonal should be negative, and then this uh, off diagonal value should be close to zero, ideally, and gradient should be all zero. And what happens if, if that is not the case? For example, if we have one here, it's, it means that we have a reach, and then, uh, but it's going to be a bit hard to understand, like we don't have a, a maximum here, because there's like many of these values that are, are equally good. Uh, the, many combinations of these data are equally good. So they are on the reads and there is no single maximum when a model doesn't converge. So uh, how do you explain this to students? I might, I use slides, but sometimes when I really want to explain something in detail, I might code a, a little demonstration like this. So the students can just put in different values. So what if the gradient is, is one? what happens, then we can see that, okay, yeah, the maximum doesn't not exist. But programming this kind of things is uh, a bit hard or not, not really hard, but it takes some time. Like if I were to program something like this, it's, it's probably like half a day of my work because I don't do it that often. And I realized that I could actually try making these little examples for my students using generative AI. So this is uh, the Klein uh, coding assistant, and this is Visual Studio Code. And I just asked Klein to code a Shiny application. So the technology that I'm using is Shiny, it's uh, built with R, to demonstrate how likelihood surface changes with different values of gradient and Hessen. Use two parameters and plot the likelihood as a three-dimensional plot, where the third dimension is the log likelihood. So that is what the, um, what the, uh, the example shows. So we have two parameters theta one and theta two, and then the third dimension is the local likelihood. And we have a three dimension plot that we can rotate. Okay, so it did it with single plot prompt. So I just gave it the prompt, and then it tells what it's going to do. And it executes installs everything that I need. And then it runs it. Then uh, it, it shows it on my own computer. So here's the link, and I can just test it. And uh, it works flawlessly. Okay, so it works on my computer. So what next? Then I asked it to uh, to deploy it. And uh, <clears throat> can you publish the Shiny app for me? So I have an account at shinyapps.io. And then it asked me for my credentials. So I just go here to the, uh, the, the Shiny apps website and I could check my token. And uh, you, I'm not showing you the secret. And I copy the clipboard and I copy it from there, and then I just paste it here, and uh, then Shiny will use that code, and it let, it'll deploy it for me. And then it gives me a link where I can find it here. So it's it's coding one prompt, deploying another prompt. And uh, this took like maybe five minutes to do, and now that I know uh, how to do it, it's going to take even less the next time. So all my students are going to uh, be seeing lots of examples in the near future.